Kurt, you are right. What you be messing around with the Russians, ain't you? You be a very naughty boy. Oh. That's a little place to go, Petrus. Now then, so today's impressions tutorial is the enigmatic Alfie Solomons from Peaky Blinders. If you haven't seen the first two videos from this series, please do go and check them out first as they will be referenced here. But if you're all caught up, please do drop a like on the video, leave a comment uh, suggesting the next impressions tutorial, and let's get into it. In this video, I'll be giving hints and tips on how to do an Alfie Solomons impression, and then I'm gonna also, at the end, do a case study on incongruencies and how you can use that to sell your impression better. So the best resource to use is Peaky Blinders on Netflix, but also the iconic brown bread scene. Bake the white bread, bake the brown bread. Do you want to try something? Uh, yeah, all right, so I'll try the, I'll try the brown. Actually, wait, what's that one? That, that is Hovey's best of both, mate. See, like this, right? It looks like white bread. It's got a fucking nutritional value. Fucking brown, mate. The accent is Cockney. Not too dissimilar from Ronnie Crane. Alfie Solomons is from Camden Town, so that kind of makes sense. Sometimes when I'm trying to pick up the accent of a character, I like to think of it or write it down phonetically. Try and really listen out for those letters that they're missing out, or every so often, the extra letters that they're putting in. In terms of the tone, it is deep and croaky from the throat. And that's the end of that bit on tone. The body language is very intense. He eyeballs people. So really pop your eyes out when you're doing it. Yeah, that is right. All right. Fuck you, yeah, that is fucking stupid, isn't it? Yeah. Alfie also gets in people's personal space. Imagine when you're doing it, that you fucking people feel very uncomfortable. Yeah. Just get that feeling in your head. He's very staunch, he stands his ground, okay? Very confrontational body language, so try and take that on. In terms of the face, this is the face that I like to embody when I'm doing Alfie Solomon. From this lip, bottom lip, I put it the top one more. Let's, let's try, let's go back to me. Let's look at the eyeballs, the eyeballs are fucking... Very so when I start doing Alfie Solomons, the first thing I do, my trigger is the eyeballs, okay? So I pop them out, and then all the practice and the muscle memory that you've built up, because remember this is a brain training exercise, uh, flows in from that. So I think generally I look for a trigger in Alfie Solomons, the eyes is the trigger. Like most engaging speakers, he varies his tone and his speech pattern for emphasis. Yeah, it's quite a funny character, he uses a lot of metaphors, but he also kind of talks in this setup, punchline uh, kind of manner. It's building to something that generally has a bit of a payoff at the end. He put another ton on top of that because his brother is a fucking animal and he will come after me. And he put another hundred on top of that, right? Because you are a whop. You are a fucking what, mate? Uh. Vary the speech pattern, and then there's a big punchline at the end. So he kind of has three modes of speaking. One that's quite lethargic, quite relaxed. Oh, it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty good at it, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I'm very comfortable with this situation. Isn't it? Number two, where he drops his voice and he goes very intense. Excuse me, more, right? Uh, right. Right. Yeah. And the third one, when he's been triggered and he's actually angry and he goes just a little bit Bane from Dark Knight Rises. Anger that is not fucking justified. Yeah? These fuckers. I don't claim to know much about acting, but I do believe that one of the skills of acting is to try and make the written word seem as natural and unwritten as possible. You don't. You want to make it seem like it's not scripted. If you imagine someone reading off a page, you want to make it as little like that as possible. You're trying to throw the listener 
off at all times. It's kind of like jazz impressions. Issues here. That's what's going on. With Alfie Solomons, you do this with grunts, little single words, and sort of inaudible words. It'll get to the point where it's actually funnier if when you start doing Alfie Solomons, you don't actually say anything at all, and you just sort of mumble these grunts and little words, and people can still tell who the character is meant to be. Right. When I do stand up, I've got this joke where I. You <laughs> <laughs> didn't pick up on that. That was an impression of uh, every role that Tom Hardy's ever done. <laughs> I was in a gig in North Yorkshire, actually, and I did that joke. Um, and another comedian in the audience told me afterwards that an old man uh, said. What did he say? And his uh, elderly wife leant across and went, He said, uh, something, something, something. Fuck off. So it's working. And this goes for a number of impressions because the more you can add these little details and uh, I call them incongruencies, it's basically like breaking up the rhythm. The more you can do this, the more lifelike it's going to be. If they can't pick up the pattern of the speech, that's how people talk in real life. They don't have a, they don't speak in robotic, monotone ways. And the grunts and the adaptable rhythm uh, gets more important as you go away from direct quotes and you start creating original dialogue. You know, you're trying to sell the impression to people, okay, with this original dialogue. Uh, that was me as fatty natural as possible, mate. Right? It's right. So to finish, I'm going to do a caricature learning frame for you to practice along with as you get started on your Alfie Solomon's impression. So, uh, imagine, uh, imagine that you could not see. Like, uh, he was born blind. And one day, when you open up your eyes, you can see everything in the world. Huh? Well, before, you could only touch it, or smell it. Huh? Oh. There it is. Revelation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to drop a like and also subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and drop a comment uh, suggesting which impressions tutorial you would like next. See you next time.